Hey there, how is it going, my favorite fan you? Um, yeah, more Super Double Dragon. This is part two of uh, Mission 2. Because, you know, altogether it was quite lengthy. And we don't like lengthy, do we? We like, you know, short, which we can watch it, you know, get up, get, get some coffee, you know, suckle down a banana, um, you know, so you don't have to stay tuned. Or, hey, maybe it's having trouble loading anyway, so you can pause it, let it load, you know, go give someone a blowjob and come back in the room, but, you know, after, since they're a minute, man, by the time you come back in a minute later, the entire video has finished loading. So, here we go. More Super Double Dragon. Mission 2. Uh, I think I left off on the last video. I was kind of blah, blah, blah. Steam and video games. And it looks like they have uh, one or two okay sales today. Um, since they've been doing the autumn sale, mm, so far I haven't been as impressed as I was during the Christmas sale or the summer sale. Never heard of that game. But, uh, it's some okay sales today. Um, Let's see. I would like to do a co-op of Fear one day. Well, Fear 3 one day. Uh, but, you know, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I did acquire and play through all the first uh, Fears in Fear 2. But unfortunately, I did not get to play Fear 2 at high setting, unfortunately. Um... But it was cool to acquire, you know, Fear 1, um, Fear Extraction Point and Perseus Mandate and Fear 2 and its DLC. I acquired all that for 10 bucks. That was, uh, cool. Maybe one day I'll do Fear 3. Actually, maybe I would like to go back and play Fear 2 again. And, uh... You know, get play it mixed setting because that's really the point of playing it. And it was kind of cool to play Fear One at max setting, um, and it didn't even lag compared to when I had it had my computer SLI'd with uh, 79 GTX 512 uh, megabit. It didn't lag at all when I played it this time through at max setting with just one card, so that was awesome. Didn't crash either. Um, and I do recall, I played, I played the first fear so many damn times, I was up to that hardest difficulty, because there was like three or four difficulties, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's been a good six, seven months or so since I last played fear. I think that was like one of the first things I played after I acquired it. I played fear one, and I played, you know, whatever expansions, whatever order they were in. They didn't, they didn't have anything to do with the timeline anyway, so it's not like that really mattered. But... Um, I think I played them by the, when they were released, the expansion, and then I played Fear 2, and that was cool as well. And I had fun with the DLC, that was badass. That was some badass DLC. More DLC needs to be exactly like that. Oh, anyway, uh, looks like the Overlord Complete Pack for five bucks. Um, if I recall correctly, during the Christmas sales, that was only, um three dollars. I kind of regret not getting it, but at this point it doesn't really matter because I can't play my PC games anytime soon. Well, at least until you stick around and help me, you know, out with watching and subscribing and liking you know, all my videos more and more. Oh, let me check your messages in a moment. Polynomial for two forty nine. That actually looks kind of fun, kind of cool, but I wouldn't be able to run it on my computer because it's so intensive, or it, it re requires HD, and my computer is not capable of HD, unfortunately. But the Polynomial would be looks cool, look like it'd be fun. Oh yeah, it's one of those like another one of those music games, just like uh, damn, I can't remember the name of it, where it's powered by the music and the music does everything. Got to make sure to play some good music. Um. Keenan Lynch, Dead Men for three seventy four, decent deal. I got it, I think. Yeah, it is decent. Um, Keenan Lynch two, Dog Days for three seventy four, and each of the three DLCs are uh, 
Oh, only there's different price decks. One is seventy four cents, one is forty nine cents, and one is one forty nine. Uh, that's okay, I guess. Looks like all multiplayer shit though, so uh, that's really only decent deals for today. Uh, I don't know about Limbo. I'd have to look more into that. Looks kind of mysterious, I guess. If you're in the city's exile, I guess. If you're in the simulator building stuff. Um, Limbo sounds alright. It seems to get some decent feedback. Indie adventure. Uncertain of his sister's fate, a boy enters Limbo. Yeah. Kind of cool, I guess. Just looking at the pictures. Watch my videos and stay tuned for everything, and maybe you'll see a let's play that one day. Huh? I would hope so. You know, I actually do like playing the obscure, obscure games. Haha, uh -huh, I do. I don't know what got into me lately. Penis. Penis has gotten into you, you sad boy. Yep. Just watch me getting my ass kicked a little bit more. Uh, you know, I could have probably, you know, made this go by a lot quicker and I might have, might as well should have. Uh, I could have just jump kicked a lot. Because, uh, you know, if nothing else, just jump kick. Just jump kick. That makes everything go by easier. Payday the Heist. I guess that'd be a decent game to do. But, you know, 10 bucks, I'll wait till it's down a bit less. Maybe 3 bucks, 5 bucks, I don't know. Eh, that won't be a, something to do anytime soon, though. Don't have the money to do it. Don't have the resources. Don't have anywhere to, uh, do it. And I can't record it anytime soon, either. But with my loyal, awesome fans, whenever you do get around to watching my videos, that would be awesome to help me get set up on that, because I'm still learning everything. Everything still sucks right now, so I'm still learning, and expect suckiness until then, right? Thank you for watching. That's end of part two of Mission 2. Tune in next time for Mission 3, and blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. Peace.